The miller's tale starts out in response to the previous tale told by the knight. The host asks of the party who could go next. Who could have a tale worthy of succeeding the knights? The miller, although thoroughly drunk, puts himself forward to tell the next tale, and the entire ensemble pestered him about how churlish his regalia are. He agrees with the crowd that he is drunk, and asks in advance for forgiveness, should he get anything wrong in his tale. The actual tale introduces us to a carpenter who has recently married a woman who is absolutely gorgeous and dressed in the finest silk. The carpenter let out his house to be used by those in need of lodging, and one of those was Nicholas, a scholar interested in astronomy. Nicholas is extremely in love with Allison and would do absolutely anything just to have some alone time with her. Absalon, who is also introduced at this point, is also extremely interested in copulating with Allison, but chooses to take a more indirect and chivalrous approach. Nicholas invents a serpentous tale about how the entire world is going to flood, and unless the carpenter hauls himself up in a bathtub suspended from the roof of his house, he will drown in his sleep when the waters envelop him. The tale works, and while the carpenter is happily distracted in his bathtub, Nicholas and Allison sneak down to have some fun in another bedroom. After a while, Absalon hears that the carpenter has not been seen for a few days, and presumes that he must have gone on a trip, leaving the beautiful Allison alone at his house. During the middle of the night, right as Allison and Nicholas begin with the most primal instinct of man, Absalon calls upon Allison through the privy hole and asks her for a kiss. Allison gives him that kiss, though not with any lips he would have liked to have kissed. Absalon realizes the mistake, likely from the smell, and plans on revenge. He gets a red-hot poker, and the next morn calls out for Allison again. This time, Nicholas wants in on the prank and offers his own toot for the kiss. Right as Absalon gets him square on with the poker. Nicholas screams out in pain, but who can blame him? And calls out for water to soothe the scar. Unfortunately, the carpenter, who is still sitting in that same tub, hears the calls and the crying of water for water. He thinks it's the flood. So he releases his tub, and he falls down to that floor, and he breaks his arm. When the other villagers start to arrive, they brand the carpenter madman for believing such wild tales that the world's going to end. The entire world's going to flood. And I guess the fact that his wife was cheating behind his back also gave him the title of a cuckold. Not a very good life, is it?